Gertrude and Agnes, Better Together by Carolyn Carlin. If you go down to the Bluebell Woods today, you might just see something very magical and wonderful as two unlikely friends, an elephant and a mouse, help us learn that we can be friends even when we are different to each other. Let the adventures begin. Hidden away behind the trees and the bramble bushes, Gertrude, a little baby elephant, and Agnes, a tiny fluffy mouse, are camping. You don't believe me? Then sprinkle a pinch of fairy dust, pick your favorite colors, and paint a story with me. Look, there they are, sitting on a log, chatting about their favorite things to do. Today, they have decided that they will play in the woods and eat blackberries. Mm. We shall eat and play and play and eat all day long, they giggled to each other. My tummy's rumbling awfully loud. Shall we eat breakfast? rumbled Agnes. Gertrude really couldn't hear any rumbling at all coming from Agnes's small tummy. She also felt peckish. I wouldn't mind a nibble, or maybe two. squeaked Agnes. Oh yes, truly scrumptious, Gertrude said as she smiled cheek to cheek. The little friends kept saying, mm, just one more, mm, mm, just one more. As she looked around, Gertrude noticed a nearby puddle. She looked at the puddle and then looked at Agnes. Bath time! exclaimed Gertrude. Oh, but I really do not like baths, Agnes replied. Gertrude had already jumped into the puddle and was having so much fun splashing and blowing bubbles. Agnes kept a paper boat close by for such occasions. So she sailed around getting clean from Gertrude's splashing. <laughs> My teeth are chattering shivered Agnes. Oh, we'll warm up in no time, my little friend, said Gertrude, as she leads Agnes to their special box. Let's sit inside and get dry in the sun. Best of all, we can watch the leaves change colour. It takes a very long time for them to change, you know, explained Gertrude in her wise voice. Gertrude and Agnes tried extremely hard to patiently watch the leaves, but sitting was much too difficult. Suddenly, Gertrude jumped up and said excitedly, last one who jumps in the leaves is a rotten egg. <laughs> Agnes spotted something else out of the corner of her eye. Oh, how she was glad to have corners to her eyes. She scurried past Gertrude, sucking leaves up with her trunk to grab the biggest and juiciest blackberry she ever did see. Oh, time for a little snack, said Agnes. Tickle wickle, oh, said the leaves as they flew up Gertrude's trunk. Grasping onto the blackberry, Agnes floated from leaf to leaf and she could see a rustle and a bustle in the tall grass beside them. peek a -boo, said Bunny. Ah! said Agnes as she flew through the air. Can you smell that? asked Bunny. Agnes caught a whiff of her cousin's baked blackberry and cream cake. Merry Berry always baked the cake for her baby who would never refuse a taste. Just another crumb please, Mama, repeated Baby. Mary laughed. I should have called you crumbs. Agnes could think of nothing better than Mary Berry's cake and blackberries. <clears throat> A match made in heaven, she sighed. Mm. Agnes had been so busy floating on the leaves and watching her other friends that she hadn't noticed Gertrude had stopped playing with the leaves. Gertrude had been playing with the flowers instead. Agnes thought that she looked like a princess with a flower crown on her head. 
Gertrude took the flowers off her head and sat down quietly near a watering can of flowers she had collected for Agnes. You really are my most special friend in the whole world, Gertrude told Agnes. I don't want today to ever end, she said. Then sprinkle some fairy dust and cast a magic spell to make today last forever, Agnes laughed as she waved her wizarding wand. Sometimes though, real magic happens. The little friends put their costumes back into the box. They sat together and as they looked up, their eyes grew bigger and bigger. It was all so beautiful and magical. The sun was going down and the moon and the stars began to paint the sky. Ah, <sighs> time for bed, sleepyhead, they said to each other as they headed back to their tent. I wonder what adventures we will have tomorrow, Agnes said. With a friend like you, the adventures will be never ending, chuckled Gertrude. Until tomorrow, at least. Until tomorrow.